everybody, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to Versus. I'm honestly loving, loving this playlist, and I hope you guys are too. Today we will be comparing the Main Street vehicles of Disneyland and then the Main Street vehicles of Walt Disney World. So if you guys are new to Versus, how this works is I read articles that I found, and then you guys give your opinion on which one's better in the comment section down below. And then, of course, I give you guys my opinion on what I think, and it all just comes together somehow. So, uh, we're first going to start with the Main Street vehicles of Disneyland. Next up, Memory Lane. Climb into the classic chassis and sit back and relax as you are transported from one end of Main Street USA to the other. The vintage vehicles include horse-drawn streetcar, an old-fashioned trolley pulled by a horse, Jitney, an early automobile without a roof, fire engine, a replica of the very first fire trucks, omnibus, a gas-powered open-air two-story bus, come experience a jaunty journey from a bygone era. Where to board? There are two st stops in Disneyland Park, Town Square near City Hall and Central Plaza in front of Sleeping Beauty's Castle. Each trip is one way. Know before you go. Main Street vehicles close intermittently to accommodate parade performances and may only be available earlier in the day. Next, we're going to talk about the Walt Disney World Main Street vehicles. General information. Location. Run the length of Main Street. Boarding areas are located around Town Square near the entrance to the park and around the Central Plaza in front of Cinderella's Castle. Date opened. October 1st, 1971. Number of ride units. At any given time of each vehicle may be on Main Street. Ride capacity varies by vehicle. Restraint method, none. Ticket rating, a ticket. Ride photo, no. Time commitment, open, close, open and close with the park. Do not run during parades, fireworks, or anything else that causes congestion on Main Street. Wait times, each vehicle returns to a loading spot every seven to 10 minutes. It is rare for lines to form beyond the capacity of the vehicle. Length of ride, three minutes. Fast pass, no. Single rider, no. Queue description, none. Just wait at the curb for the vehicle. Access information, health restrictions, none. Access ride, ride access. You just wait for your vehicle at the curb. There are benches in the area if you are unable to stand while waiting. You can also sit on the curb. Though lines are rare, this may put you at the back of the line when the vehicle arrives. Wheelchair transfer. None of the Main Street vehicles are wheelchair accessible. If will, it will be necessary to transfer into the vehicle, each of which requires at least one setup. The vehicles do not have room for folded wheelchairs, so someone else in your party would need to transfer wheelchairs and EVC to the other end of Main Street. Service animals. Yes. Audio. There is no formal audio on the vehicles, though riders are free to converse with the driver. Weight and size issues? Some seating may be constricted, but there is generally room for spreading out a bit. Parenting information. Height restrictions? None. Child swap? None. Other issues? None. History and trivia. At this location, Main Street vehicles have been running since the park opened in 1971. The attraction's history. For the most part, the vehicles remain the same as when the park opened. One change is that the Omnibus is transferred to Epcot, where it now carries characters around World Showcase Lagoon. And that is it for today's verses. I know the uh, Main Street vehicles for Walt Disney World is more or less like information about it. But I mean, again, at the same time, like you can still base your opinion on what you've heard today or what you know if you've ever ridden the Main Street vehicles. But uh, anyways, that is it for today's verses. Let me know which one you guys prefer in the comment section down below. Um, personally, I've never ridden the Main Street vehicles in Florida, but I have I actually haven't ridden the ones at Disneyland either, so I can't really give my opinion on it. But it seems like the ones at Disneyland are very nice, and I'm sure the ones at Walt Disney World are just as nice. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.